Right, again, uh, we got the jocks here on Tuesday morning at Rankisfontein. We've got Phyllis Sunday and Scully. got a couple of nice rides on Thursday. Phyllis Sunday, let's start with uh, race one. Uh, the Merciful, very open race, but he hasn't run for a while. Yeah, 100%. He hasn't been running for two years. Uh, I think he's going to need the run very bad tomorrow, but uh, you're hoping for the best because he's carrying a lightweight. He might show up something. Yeah, and uh, you've been riding well for Mr. Tyron Zaki. Race two, TikTok edition, also for the Tyron Zaki yard. Yeah, hundred percent. You know, he he, he ran he ran a very good race uh, last time with Gavin. I think uh, the longer straight, she's gonna enjoy that longer straight. It's, it's gonna suit her very nicely. Yeah, I think so too. Uh, Felisander. Then race three, Sola Diva, also for the Tyron Zaki yard. Yeah, 100%. Uh, I don't know what happened last time with Clink, but uh, when I'm looking at the form, I think she's a right horse to beat in the field. Absolutely. Then you've got two rides for uh, Grant Maroon, Miraculous Man, and twice as well. Let's start with Miraculous Man, Man in race six. Yeah, you know, he's been disappointing. Uh, uh, I think he also needed the distance as well because Mr. Maroon has been putting him over a sprint. Uh, I think tomorrow he might run a good race carrying with a lightweight over 14. And then I think your best ride on the day, twice as wild, also for the Grand Maroon Yard, ultra consistent. Yeah, 100%. You know, he just got tired the last bit last time with Muzi. Uh, he's, he's back in his distance, 1200. I think he's going to be running a good race tomorrow. Yeah, as you heard it for Phyllis Sunday, he's a rich, rich vein of form at the moment. Let's hope he continues it on Thursday.